doing? I think he's basically creating a, a base over here, right? That was the plan anyways. You think this game is terrible so far? I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing. Anomaly found. <laughs> like, I don't really... I'm just going from system to system and I'm kind of like looking for anomalies? You think this game is terrible so far? I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing. Anomaly found. <laughs> Like, I don't really... I'm just going from system to system, and I'm kind of, like, looking for anomalies? I also know a lot of people love this game. So I'm trying to f figure out where the... you know... Nothing happens until you find another empire? Nothing happens until you you find another empire. There are aliens out there. The interface is very confusing. Not sure why they made it like this. Excellent. I made it like this. A colony ship over there. How do I make a colony ship? Do I have to go back again? Colony ship not be a colony ship. Do we? Say? I am kind of overwhelmed with the amount of shit going on. Built, I built a thing over here. How do I know what I built? I built something in this area. A star base. Yes? Star base does not have a shipyard. So why does it open up the shipyard when I click the star base? Like, I... <laughs> I kind of feel like I need to play this game for about 50 hours before I understand roughly what's going on. I don't know if I want to spend 50 hours. I don't know if I want to spend 50 hours. So I built... Um, I just built... A starbase out here, and I want to create... So I built... A starbase out here, and I want... A starbase out, star out here, and I want to create... Something so I can take control of this area. Now, there's nobody here, so I don't understand why I don't already have control of this thing. Do I need to, like, take a flag and plant it somewhere? Like, what do you... It takes at least five hours, Loco, for sure. Okay. So what did I just do with that worker ship? I built a star base, which expanded the borders right here of my whatever. I figured that means that Alpha Centauri is now part of us. When I hover over it, it seems to. But I guess you don't necessarily need to expand to a place to call it yours. So... I need to... Make an actual... How? I, I don't know how. <laughs> uh, Loco, here's a two hour tutorial about this game. Bro, I don't want to watch a two hours... This is a two hour beginner's guide? To play the game? I don't want to watch... I don't want to watch a two hour beginner's guide, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> this, this, is, this is the Burning Crusade, guys. You are- Yes! 100% bro! You are not prepared. No, that- that's- that seems about right. I didn't realize I needed to apply for college in order to play the video game. Um... I gotta go to Stellara school for a couple- The tutorial? I gotta go to Stellara school for a couple hours. <laughs> We have a uh, morning program where we run down, down the tutorial. We watch that video for two hours, and then in the afternoon we get a little playing session. After lunch, 
We get to process it, then tomorrow we come back. We do another short playing session in the morning. We do a more advanced, maybe a, a focus on leaders or maybe some, some I don't know, science or something. And then, and then we do another short little playing session in the afternoon. What's going on, Spoodle? Thank you very much. Brian! Bri Brian, he said something. Brian's on break again. I'm sorry, Spoodle. Brian only, uh, yeah, he did bits. He, he did pronounce Bruno's notification with bits. But, uh, Loco, I have to run. I'm late for interstellar diplomacy class. All right, no worries, man. I'm, I'm yeah, no, no worries. Um, so I'm, I don't know how. It said I needed to build an expansion ship, which I'm assuming I, like, the fact. Hello, tiny -o. So the, yeah, yeah, so the tutorial for the game is for a few different game versions ago. That is weird though. <laughs> like the fact that it refers to the top bar drop down, but there is no such thing as a top bar drop down is weird. An aluminum plate, anodized gold, is recovered from the Ultum mining mining base. Is that possible? Well anyways, I wanted to be going on. They're like, yeah. Instead, I'm gonna play a couple hours of the Planet Crafter, guys. That you know, that type of like. I feel like people either have two hours in this game or two. Disliking the complexity of. I'm pulling that number out of my. Like, if the game is as successful, Howard has got a new trade. Let's go. I highly doubt it. I played this game six years ago. A Wisdom from the gods. Ah, how am I supposed to know any of these things, guys? If it was. System resources are created by some. For, same for Alpha Centauri or Centauri. Oh, okay. I can have another one. All right. How do I do that? How about I? So there's 19 energy credits in the Soul System. Weird. So there's there's 19 energy credits in the Soul System. Okay. So how about I get my credits? But how do I do that? I am supposed to build a mining station. I have a district? I have a mining district. Isn't it already built? Oh, okay, I can have another one. All right, there we go, we can build another one. I'm assuming that costs me resources, but I don't know. Some, same for Alpha Centauri, or Centauri, I guess. Okay. System resources are created by construction ships, Loco, not on the planets? <laughs> How am I supposed to know any of these things, guys? If it wasn't for you whispering them in my, in my chat, how was I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know? Wisdom from the gods. Ah, yeah, yeah. I need to watch the two-hour YouTube tutorial. I should have played this game six years ago. Uh, was it intuitive though when this game first came out about four years ago, back in 2016? Was it was it intuitive back then? I highly doubt it. I I, I doubt that they're making it less intuitive. Okay. Alfred Howard has got a new trait. Let's go, dude. I think it's better now than it was back then. Okay. Okay. Hey, Faradol, thank you. 26. I feel like a lot of people, though. Like, if the game is as successful as it is, right? Okay. Like, if the game is as successful as it is, right? And as many people love it as it is right now. Shouldn't they do something about new player onboarding and try to make it better for people? Because it seems wild to me that, like, I, I can't imagine that by this point in, in the play playthrough, about 90 people or 90% of people would have already uninstalled the game and refunded it. I'm pulling that number out. I'm pulling that number out of my ass, but it's got to be a very high amount of people would have already people or 90% of people of people this game just isn't for those people 
Yeah, but maybe it is. They're just making it very confusing. It seems like a bit of a waste. Because I've seen a lot of waste. Because I've seen a lot of people in the chat say that they like tried getting into it, but they just stopped. Say that they like tried getting into it, but they just stopped. Disliking the complexity of Stellaris is like dis. I didn't necessarily disliking D and D mechanics of Baldur's Gate. I mean, to be fair, I didn't necessarily love all of those. So it could definitely be a loco issue. But I'm saying, at least Baldur's Gate does a great job onboarding players. If you've never played a CRPG before, it's not rocket science. This seems like a... It seems silly to, to not invest a little bit of time to also make the new player onboarding better. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I feel like people either have two hours in this game or 2,000. There will probably be very few in between. <laughs> I know some people love that, you know, that type of, like, gameplay, though, where it's like, I only the cool people can play this game. Only me and the boys. <laughs> a little bit of gaming elitism. Always nice. Loco, I got 300 hours and I don't know what I'm doing half the time. <laughs> uh. To be fair, though, I could have been at this this exact point that I am right now, within probably about 10 minutes of gameplay tops, if I knew what I was doing. You dropped it after 40 hours? Oh, okay. I think StarCraft 2 also has a bit of that, yeah. I really don't like gaming elitism though, I think it's stupid. But, yeah. StarCraft 2 definitely has a lot of that too, if you want to play 1v1. Absolutely. You are gaming elite, you suck at all of them. Nice. I think I'm gonna save it here before my brain gets absolutely destroyed. I'm gonna save it here. I may come back at a later time. I'm gonna play a couple hours of the Planet Crafter, guys. Come back at a later time. Something that uh, is gonna be a bit easier. To <laughs> Maybe I will watch one of those uh, unboarding videos online. Maybe I need to. Need to. Because uh, that was hella confusing. Please years of stream. Yes, I Okay, no, I carefully. Do next. I see his name everywhere all of a sudden. Helldivers fan, we've heard your f that day too. That's what he's wearing. Get clicks? Yeah, that seems like a good strategy. Artos is while playing StarCraft. Artos is while casting StarCraft. Ah, another one of those. Another one of them. We have seen many of these, these memes. There's many different variations of the same thing. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It must be insane to be in the other room hearing the father of your children having toddler tantrums at video games all day as his job? I can't imagine having... He... What? Having to explain to my family, wife, children, in-laws, brother, sisters, etc. What text-to-speech Mario erotica is? It's okay, dude. I've always had a strong suspicion that Ar Artosis exaggerates his anger in order to get more engaging oh, content. You think? I have the answer to your questions in this sub-anniversary. What's going on, Kalibrovka? Thank you for the answer, 42, dude. I appreciate it. You guys think that streamers sometimes... ...purposefully enhance their emotional response? Just to get a more drum. Y you guys think streamers would ever do that? They just like act more, more dramatic than they are. No, 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 no. I don't think so. There is not a no. I don't think so. Did you guys see the Hell Drivers? I'm talking about it, Echo Steel. Been baiting for many years. You were in a in a meeting. Oh, what's going on, Zellman? What's up, Rumpus? You've turned all your a race in your Ooh, that's true. It's my- Used to be mon ami. Uh, what happened to my finger? Okay, it pictured this. Loaf of bread, me cutting. Me looking out of- My ass Uh, what happened to my finger? Okay, it pictured this. Loaf of bread, me cutting. 
Me looking out of the window. Me continuing. That was it. Yes. Um, honestly, not my brightest moment. This is what I get for, for uh, cutting bread early in the morning. Yeah. I was being nice. I was making Laurent breakfast and everything, dude. Yeah. It was a pretty dumb idea, not gonna lie. It wasn't that bad, to be honest. I noticed pretty quick. Notice pretty quick. Well, it was like a like a like a like a like a, like a stick bread, right? Like the French baguette, right? And I just like slicing it open, and I didn't mean to slice it open all the way. <sighs> it wasn't very good. No, I don't think I'll be in in Dallas. No, qualified players. I not I didn't mean it. Oh, you were saying now it's just a joke. Oh, well, I did it, Ramble. What are you gonna do about it now? Didn't mean it? Oh, you were saying? I see how it is. Triple proxy void ray in 4v4. This man just took a screenshot and posted it to Reddit. Of himself? I think this is himself. Incredible. This is the quality content that we aim for. Triple proxy void ray in 4v4. This man just took a screenshot and posted it to Reddit. Probably of himself. I think this is himself. Incredible. This is the quality content that we aim for. Were there even four Stargates? Nope, there is six. There are six Stargates. Oh, wait, that's the joke. They're proxying right next to each other. Oh, wait, no, they're teammates. No, no, no. Green and orange, or green and yellow are teammates too. And then there's pink too, actually, up there. Pink is also a teammate. So basically, they're all just... Ah, the three of them are going proxy Stargate. I see. I still don't know why we took a screenshot of it and posted it to Reddit, but I do like it. Finally out of Bronze League on EU. Let's go. Bad meme, dude. Bad meme. Took a video. Oh, this man took a video. This man took a video off his laptop monitor and then shared it to Reddit. Just the biggest ZVT fight ever in my experience. Mate, we can't see what the fight is like. Have you... Ah. <laughs> oh... I think, I think videos like this, and I'm glad this person shared it, but I think videos like this are the proof that the StarCraft community is getting kind of old. Alright, this is the type of video my dad would send me too. I'm like, Dad, what are you talking- like, what are you even- what are you trying to say right now? What is even going on? This is a dad video right here. It's fine. It's cool. I like it. But it is a bit of a dad video. Yeah. Oh my lord. What is going on? There's a lot going on. Returning to StarCraft 2 after an incredible week of Mana Lord? <laughs> what? Do you just forget how to play StarCraft after not playing for a week? I don't... <laughs> An average APM of 9? Very nice. Very nice. Oh, this is one of the worst memes I've seen all week. Bron James. Scream if you love StarCraft 2. Sounds like a plan. You must construct additional pylons. What is going on? This is... This is so bad, but I also kind of love it. LeBron James, scream if you love StarCraft 2. It's so bad. It is very busy. Yeah, it is very busy. Edits are kind of amazing, though. I agree with you. Absolutely. I agree with you. I agree with you. Absolutely. That's a bit of a Zoomer meme. Um, if you watched the Formula One race, by the way. It was a... So That's a great guy. Four more times. Let us have a quick little peek at the. Star Let us have a quick little peek at the Star StarCraft 2 Battle.net. Yeah.
You love to see it. You know one forum I haven't been to in a little bit? The StarCraft 2 Battle.net forums. Let us have a quick little peek at the StarCraft 2 Battle.net forums. This is always a source of positivity where I like to hang out and I learn about what is going on in the mind of the people. Let's go to general discussion. The people. Let's go to general discussion. Why is there no update? Updating the game. Tell, tell me the reason and don't see me here again. Lamentations of Dark Master. I think this is beautiful, dude. Why have thou forsaken me? That's, that's, yeah, that's amazing. Okay. Griefers and the Code of Conduct. I just experienced a griefer in 3 versus AI that I reported and blocked, but I was matched three more times with. This person attacked both myself and the other teammate in all of these games. How do you know? If you've blocked them. Anyways, I've experienced a huge uptick in the kind of griefers in StarCraft 2 recently, and frankly, I'm pretty disappointed. I didn't even know you could play 3 versus AI, honestly. I've been grinding 3 versus AI myself. I ranked up to Elite? Bro, what are these people playing? 3 versus AI? Oh shit, dude, you can do 3 versus Oh sh dude, you can do three versus AI. I had no idea. Well, that's a game mode I had no idea about. That's beautiful. I think it's ever for the 34. I would love to see an option to disable mirror matchups. <laughs> that's beautiful. I would love to see an option to disable mirror matchups. <laughs> I think a lot of Mirror match. I think a lot of people don't like mirror matchups, not even from a gameplay or balance perspective. It's just cool to see two different factions. I don't like Civil War. This guy wants to disable 1v1 mirrors because he doesn't like Civil War. <laughs> mm. Toss hits 43% in Grandmaster League. Yeah, what's going on, Cranky Ducklings? Thank you very much for the rate. Welcome to. I just went live on my most beloved forum on the internet, aka Battle.net. Toss hits 43% in Grandmaster. Civil War. Toss hits 43% in Grandmaster. They set a record of 45% in 2020. Will Protoss beat the previous record? I guess we will find out. Yo! Wait, 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 wait. I guess. That's probably- Or these are scripted raids. I was just doing a little bit of a- How has the balance council not been replaced yet? Toss hits 43%- How has the balance- Civil war? How has the balance council not been replaced yet? The current balance being the poorest it's been in the history of the game by a me metric fuckton. A metric Done. I look back at the Brute Lord and Fester days, as a quote unquote non Zerk, by the way, with the most rose tinted glasses one could imagine in comparison to the balance today. For those that are unaware, that era is known as the worst balance bit in StarCraft II history. Now clearly that's no longer true and we have a new record of bad balance. This all started ever since the quote unquote balance council took over. So the solution is very simple. Remove the problem, aka the balance council, and replace them with people who actually have an idea of what a balanced game looks like instead of completely biased balance council who have made tournament results look the most skewed in SC2 history once again by such a stupidly large margin it's hard to comprehend. My god, this guy just keeps typing, man. Still waiting on TV's to action. Why not play together with Thank you very much, Anchor? Wait, we'll play some. This weird thing we got right. Wait, this weird 
everything where we got right now, where Terran is the master race that needs every buff in the book, but Protoss has every single unit. Oh, this is a threat from February. Ah, it's been three months. How time change? Yeah, times apparently have changed since then. <laughs> Leviathan from the Blizzard customer support responded. Wait, what? So somebody says Activision Blizzard decided to end the development. Microsoft can revert that easily. I would be very surprised, says Blizzard. Or maybe it's not Blizzard, actually. Maybe this is just an MVP guy. I think there's maybe somebody that's assigned by Blizzard. No, yeah, exactly. I don't think this is Blizzard. No. That, they're blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's blue. This is, this is green, which is something else. Microsoft also killed the Blizzard survival game. Uh, I was almost getting excited. Oh my god, dude. So what are people discussing right now? Most recent threat or most recent post. This is nonsense. Elitist garbage. Zero out of ten. Take this crap to Reddit. Reddit is a great place to be. Smurfs are killing the game. I think we can, can do something. Do you guys think Smurfs are actually as prevalent as people make it sound? Like, I, I don't really experience a lot of Smurfing myself, but then again, I haven't been laddering a ton. I kind of feel like Smurfing and make- Correct me if I'm wrong, but, but it kind of feels like the most recent in like a raise of excuse that we've seen over the years in, in StarCraft, where like people balance or complain about balance or David Kim or map hacking or whatever. I think there are a few Smurfs out there. Yeah, half of them are you thermal? I'm not sure, man. I don't really know if, if like, a lot of people are like, Oh my god, I lost. Oh, my, my Platinum League game went horrible. It must be because of Smurfs. It kind of feels like the most recent development in I don't want to take responsibility for my loss. But maybe I'm mistaken. <laughs> you can't kill something that's dead, and StarCraft 2 certainly is, due to bad balance. What a great place. Four Terrans in the semi-finals of the GSL. Best keyboard for StarCraft 2. Let's have a look. Use this one if you play Protoss. I see. I see. I do think the instant leaving of matchups is stupid as hell. Yep. Trusting Activision and StarCraft 3. I'm not sure how the company in its current state could make anything resembling a good game. What, what, this guy is just starting a conversation by himself. How can they now miss this from last? Interesting how a lot of these threats are brought back to the front. So somebody responded to this a couple days ago, and that's hmm, interesting. So how come there are so many super old threats that are always discussed on the Battle.net forum? Storm Colossi and Charge Slots are only OP at a lower level. Is this the same guy? I linked a YouTube video. I'm gonna go find the YouTube video, guys. Hold up. What do you think he linked? Storm Colossi and Charge Slots are, are only OP at a lower level. This is the same guy. I linked a YouTube video. I'm gonna go find the YouTube video, guys. Hold up. What do you think he linked? He's got definite. Do you think he's self promoting? Oh, it's a video by a pig. He's gonna be in trouble. Big fire push coming. Oh, Bonnie just walks into storms. What did I just witness? What did I just win? Fire push coming. Oh, Bonnie just walks into storms. What did I just witness? What did I just win? You just went, you just witnessed Bunny going AFK. I think that's what you just witnessed. He just left. As we can see, Terran for not paying attention for a second and losing their entire army is simply at a lower level. There is no imbalance here. <laughs> I always kind of feel like a lot of the threats on this forum are people that have imaginary discussions with things that haven't actually happened. It's a bit weird. Like this guy just opened a threat with proof of an argument that nobody made. I I, I don't quite. He's like doing it's yeah. He's like doing it's, there's some shadow boxing going on. Also, he calls Bunny a low-level player, which is interesting. He made a little mistake, man. Maru is the GOAT. 
Okay, I'm gonna go cast some StarCraft, guys. Enough positivity. Have none other than bl I wouldn't mind. Thing for for yeah, I think it's pretty dumb. We're still learning what is best for PC players, and your feedback has been invaluable. Shut the fuck up, man. I oh, yeah yeah. <laughs> We're still learning what's best for PC players. Thank thank you, PlayStation. Oh yeah yeah. Like yeah. It is kind of funny that a game where you fear the most about the whole Helldivers thing and the place. Those are the breeding pods? Dude, these guys are big, eh? The gills are at the bottom. See, bikini. We're trying to create over here is a living planet with animal content. You're also dropping your winter count. You're also dropping your winter coat? Look at this beautiful world. Chat, we have been busy. I've been trying my best to terraform this great planet into something a little bit. So we started off on a uh, great anywhere. Yeah. It's a hot tub. I'm changing it. Don't make fun of my legs. No, no, no. Oh, you know what? We can just enough for me to uh, dip my. F yeah. So we already have tiny little lakes over here. I've been trying my best to. Look at this beautiful world. Chat, we have been. Little mistake, man. Look at this beautiful world. Chat, we have been busy. I've been trying my best to terraform this great planet into something a little bit more habitable. So we started off on a. Uh, yeah, very messy looking planet. It wasn't great. Ultimately, what we're trying to create over here is a living planet with animals and stuff, and then also. Waterfalls, supposedly. I picked a waterfall starting location, but I don't see any waterfalls anywhere. Yeah, so we already have tiny little lakes over here. Just enough for me to uh, dip my feet into when my uh, alien girlfriend shows up. Oh, you know what? We can go pedaling together like this. Yeah. Don't make fun of my lakes. No, 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 no. It's a hot tub. Yeah. I'm changing into a lacy bikini when I uh, reach the sub goal today, chat. Just like, you know, hot tub streams. Well, my character will, maybe. What's going on, buddy Warren? What do you mean, lies? Bunny, what are you saying right now? Bunny, what are you- Lies? What's going on, buddy Warren? Character will, maybe. You're still out one of those? Exclamation point hot up in the chat, what do you mean? What's going on screw has very short legs? My character has very short legs? My character does have short legs! The hell is this sound? That one's my loud. That's okay though. They take after me. No, very different. Oh yeah, I forgot about- they're just very different cats. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about my dildo collection. <laughs> this is Oh yeah, I forgot about my dildo collection. <laughs> this is this is the ultimate goal of the game, guys. I <laughs> They're supposed to be rocket ships, but I find them looking very questionable. Now, these are hidden all over the map. It's a lonely time here on the planet, chat. Let me be. Mm -mm. Um, I don't even know what I should be aiming for. So Moss is going to be one of the slowly but surely the lakes. So I was busy moving. Mm -mm. I think slowly but surely the lakes will fill in. So I was busy moving my base. I don't really know why. Oh, here's the thing. I have unlocked the and a large lift and they allow a lot more. Yeah. So I, I when they do so have like maybe if she gifts subs. Yeah. This mind flame. 
could get a thermometer. I have a, I have a, like a kitchen thermometer. I just don't use it, even though I probably should. You saw a cat? There was no cat. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Was there a cat? Or, you know. You cook food for a living? Nice. Uh, oh, it's ally encounter. I listen. I'm being chased by the base, the base guitar player. Am I supposed to be in that circle? I think there may be some humans in the chest. Are there master chefs in the chest? Yeah. At least the lady is not. I know. I know. I'm just. Uh, I'm just a bit of a coward, I guess, guys. But my eyes don't really look on the left side. Alrighty, we made it to uh, Oceanus. Heading in. Heading in. At least the lady is not here to like make the game harder for me. Are there master chefs in the chat? Yeah, there's people here that uh, cook food. There's fellow humans in the chat, I think. I mean, last time around, you guys told me you were all robots, so I'm. I'm are there master chefs not here to like? Are there master? Chefs in the chat. Yeah, there's people here that uh, cook food. There's fellow humans in the chat. I think. I mean, last time around, you guys told me you were all robots, so I'm, I'm not 100% convinced. But I think there may be some humans in the chat. At least a few. Mister Destructoid, what's a human? You cook food for a living? Nice. Can I show this picture on stream? God, Mutlus has sent me a picture of him making scrambled eggs. This is one of the nastiest pictures I've ever seen. He just sent me two photographs. One of them said, or he sent me two photographs and a message. The message is Murica. Here is Mutlus's cooking. It, it looks so gross, bro. It looks... Photographs and a message. The message is Murica. Here is Motlus's cooking. It, it looks so gross, bro. It looks really filthy. Those are some of the nastiest scrambled eggs I've seen in my life. Yeah, those look really... It's cooking. It, it looks so gross. <laughs> Why? Why are we cooking eggs in the mi microwave, guys? Hmm... That's a crime? Well, he wrote America, so he's basically saying he's representing the great country of America with that abomination. But now I'm starting to get the vibe in the chat that some guys in the chat disagree. Just because it works doesn't agree. Yeah, but just because it works doesn't agree. Yeah, but just because it works doesn't mean you should make it. Like you could also deep fry eggs. You could probably do eggs in the uh, in the, in the oven if you really want to, you know. It just seems like a. You did try to deep fry an egg. Oh, maybe you can. I don't know. Oh, you can definitely deep fry eggs if you want to. It'll probably taste really good. Mook Thuffers has gifted a sub to Shardaki. Laughable. You can deep fry ice cream, dude. Wait, what? Oh, that's interesting. I can choose to I can choose to unseal more options because microwaved eggs and regular 
I bet I could serve you microwave eggs and regular eggs and you wouldn't know the difference. What do you mean with regular eggs, Motlesis? What are regular eggs? I would- I would tell the difference between raw eggs and microwave eggs. In the toaster? Ah, uh -huh. uh, that's how- <laughs> You could definitely cook eggs in a toaster, yeah. Just a mess. Just a mess. Oh, it doesn't have to be the... Oh, it's ally encounter. Oh, shit. It's not the spider in this zone. Oh, that's very good to know. I didn't realize that. That's for... Uh, it I got confused, man. I didn't... I, didn't, I don't know. Are we... Happy to big restore Siren. So this is how the elementals... Now, but that's... Look at that. We gotta go to the siren. Set. Because I like knowing references. Let me bookmark it. Cool. The more, yeah, the movie is literally called exactly that. I see, I see, I see. You will be sad, Loco. Because it's Robin Williams. Maybe. It's a. It's like I'm aging too slow. Really? You think so? You are aging too slow. Slightly drunk once again. You have a lot of gray hair now. Jose is right. Yeah. Well, one day I will be old. Yeah, I think I, I started watching Loco in 2017. And we're proudly pro uh, posting flags in the chat. I started watching Loco in 2017 and the guy still has the exact same face. No, I've definitely gotten a little older though. Yeah, I think I, I have aged a little bit, but um, it is what it is. One day I will be old. Older. Even older. Yeah. I do have a lot of gray hair now. Hope is right, yeah. Slightly drunk once again. Coming in clutch with the low old emote. You are, you are aging too slow. Really? You think so? I don't know, dude. Like, sometimes people say that, and then I look back at videos I uploaded about a decade ago. And we get shit I'm like this. at the time. Um, um, I look like a baby here, dude. I feel like I look like a baby here. That's 10 years. We'll see where I'm at in another 10 years. You think it's just the haircut? I think I've actually, uh, I think I'm actually a little lighter now than I was back then, like weight-wise. Well, m maybe not so much. I think body fat percentage-wise, I'm probably a little, little skinnier now in comparison. I'm definitely heavier back then. I used to be sitting at around 69 kilos, give or take. Um. I'm a little heavier than that now, but yeah. yeah. Just a haircut and different headphones. Right. Nice-ish? Eh, it was a bit light, really. You love the gamer posture? Yeah, dude. My gaming posture in that video in particular is really bad. I'm like sitting like this. I'm like talking to the camera like this. I, f I feel like I do, I do a little less of that, but you know, still probably a bit much. Yeah, still a little much. But you know what, guys? It is what it is. One day, I'll be very old, hopefully. Hopefully, I'll be very old one day. That'd be, that'd be nice. Um, let me have a quick little peek, guys, at the StarCraft 2. I did see this one this morning. The most beautiful flower I have ever known. Alien. Nobody. I did see this one this morning, dude. A message of positive TLC for max specs. Two max specs, my Danish prince. You are a beautiful flower, bro. The most beautiful flower I have ever known. I don't care if you are bald, are missing all your teeth, or anything else. Maybe you are an alien. Nobody knows. All I know is I and we want to cheer for you as one of the best remaining Protoss hopes on Earth. Protoss hasn't won a premier tournament in over one and a half years now. You can be that Protoss that helps restore balance to all of StarCraft kind. So please come to Dallas. And show the world what Danish royalty is truly made of. You can do it. Your loyal fan with love. 
Uh, he declined his he declined his invitation shortly after this post went up. By the way, um, <clears throat> so uh, I don't don't want to say it's because of this post. But if anybody called me a beautiful flower and I already was a little hesitant of going anywhere, I'd be also a little worried about it all. Yeah, yeah, Sorogus would definitely like to wear Max Pax's skin. Yeah, absolutely. He would make a coat out of Max Pax. Dangerous. Yeah, I get it. StarCraft 2 Super... Super match? I actually have a bunch of replays of that too, chat. There's this, uh, there's this new custom match of it this morning. First shit ever. Well, and I was... Just now, actually, about like an hour ago, I was looking at a little bit of the GSL and I was having the chat open. I think YouTube live stream chat for big StarCraft tournaments is the most toxic StarCraft community I have ever seen. Like genuinely, the worst shit ever. Like genuinely terrible. I know there is a lot of like jokes about Twitch chat for tournament play and the Battle.net forums and whatnot. But my god, YouTube chat is like four steps worse. I, I was actually disappointed. Like I was like a looking, I was looking at the chat like a disappointed parent. That that was me. Yeah, I, just, I don't even have kids. But it was so bad, man. There is no moderation at all. People just shout bullshit. It was actually really disappointing. Anyways, what's going on, Barnacle Bob? Ah, look, here's another. Uh, yeah, another one of those shots from StarCraft One versus StarCraft Two. Pretty fun. Pro tip for watching GSL on YouTube. If you didn't know, you can zoom in the feed on YouTube app using two fingers. Bro, I was in the YouTube chat this morning. Just now, actually, about like an hour ago. I was looking at a little bit of the GSL and I was having the chat open. I think YouTube live stream chat for big StarCraft tournaments is the most toxic StarCraft community I have ever seen. Like genuinely, the worst shit ever. The worst shit. Ever. Like, genuinely terrible. I know there is a lot of, like, jokes about Twitch chat for tournament play and the Battle.net forums and whatnot. But my god, YouTube chat is, like, four steps worse. I, I was actually disappointed. Like, I was, like, a looking... I was looking at the chat like a disappointed parent. That, that was me, yeah. That, that, I, just, I don't even have kids. But it was so bad, man. No moderation at all. People just shout out bullshit. It was like, shout bullshit. Bullshit. It was actually really disappointing. Anyways. What's going on, Barnacle Bob? Ah, look, here's another. Pretty fun. I don't know really what happens here, but I can imagine something. <laughs> Very weird, but. What is this? Terran Wraith fan art by me? I'm gonna come out and say that the lady in the bottom left and corner has very little to do with the Wraith. I don't think... It says Wraith reporting launch orders, right? In a pretty deep voice. Yeah. No, no, it's, it's Wraith awaiting launch orders. Right? Like, it's a... Oh, no, it's... it's... Wraith awaiting launch orders. Right? Like, it's a... Right? 
right? Like it's orange orders. Right? Like it's a it's a pretty masculine voice. Now, I know that that is not necessarily, you know, uh, that's not so Now I know that that is not necessarily, you know, uh, that's not saying anything. But hmm. Last playing StarCraft 1 versus okay, StarCraft dude. 2. Wait, this is a Brood War YouTube channel with 700,000 subs? How do I only just now find out about this? Or is this somebody who does occasional StarCraft? Oh shit, dude! No, this is StarCraft Brood War? Up oh shit, dude! Wow! No, this is StarCraft Brood War? Uploading like 2-3 videos a day, it seems, with loads of views. That's the first time I hear of it. That's actually insane, I had no idea. Damn. Damn. He's coming for your job, Loco? Well, he speaks Korean. I think we're good. I know I, he used to upload quite a bit, but I, I I don't remember him having that many subs. I think he must have had kind of a big influx lately. Sick. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Should I be arm aiming or wrist aiming with 1600? You should lower your DPI is what you should. Max Pax forfeits his spot for DreamHack Dallas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Sarah Rayner. Oh, I think you want to play at like... Yeah, my understanding as far as Sarah for Dallas goes and the World Cup... That's a really... The RTX... Anyways. The RTX 5090 is leaked. Sick. The RTX 5090 is leaked. The RTX 5090 is leaked. Leaked specs of the 5090. That's a really big boost, dude. Holy crap. That's like a 50% boost on everything. Everything. Damn! Why buy anything if it's going to be replaced within 18 months? Chops has completely lost the plot. He thinks buying hardware is to flex on people on the internet. Rather than using it as a tool to like, you know... Get use out of. Use out of. Um... I don't know, man. I'm not a huge fan of this, like... I don't know, man. I'm not a huge fan of this, like, performance gain by just running more wattage through it. I, I don't really know how you guys feel about this, but... Just having a really fast-working graphics card that requires a gajillion watts is kind of stupid. Maybe I'm dumb. There's a gajillion watts? It's kind of stupid. Maybe I'm dumb. More electron, m more better? I don't know, man. You need to be a fan for performance gain. They generate a lot of heat and they need fans. That's true, Fear Dragon. Absolutely, man. You think old hardware is gonna go on sale, Lurky? You think if the 5090 comes out that, that the 480 or whatever is gonna go on sale? You must not have been paying attention or paying attention during the last couple generation changes, dude. They just stopped producing them and the price never goes down. That's usually how it goes. Maybe you can get like a 30 series, yeah. That could work. What's going on, Mars? Hello. So these are gonna be like 3,000 euro graphics cards, aren't they? I don't know how much a 4090 currently costs in the Netherlands. We can have a little peek. This is a pretty great website that keeps track of all the lowest pricing in the Netherlands. Um, 4090. 1779 euro for the Aces version, okay. Yeah, so it's about 1800 euro for a graphics card. If they're gonna release a new graphics card in the next couple months that is supposed to surpass it, it's definitely gonna be at least 2500. That's insane, dude. You think it's gonna be 3500? No way.
son of a bitch. <laughs> Fucking Anthony, man. Who's this? <laughs> Fucking Anthony. Fucking Anthony. Fucking Anthony. Fucking Anthony. Anthony. Anthony, man. Who's this? <laughs> I could hear the music, even though I had to mute it. Is the graphics card drought over? Uh, yeah. You can buy graphics cards again. Seems like the have mostly been cleared up by now. It's been a couple years, but it seems like most of it has cleaned up. Yeah. You can, you can build entire computers. Dude. You can you can build entire computers that are really good for 1700 bucks. I always think it's silly to buy one component that costs that much, but I don't know. I feel like every time I buy a new computer, it's like a thousand bucks more expensive than the previous one. I don't know why, chat. Well, I do know why. But like every time it's like significantly more expensive. Obviously hardware gets better too, but there's no denying that shit is getting Obviously, hardware gets better too, but there's no denying that shit. Denying that shit is. This shit is. Is getting pricier and pricier and pricier every time. Like I remember buying mid-range graphics cards for 200 bucks, and they were really good. Like you know the 4070 Ti equivalents or whatever for like 200 bucks. Those were the days, man. That was pretty good. The US government supercomputer just got sold and it takes like 50, 50, 90s to match up to it. I saw the uh, release of the new Apple, what is it, M4? I think they call it the M4, which is their new graphics chip and their new CPU chip. That thing is kind of nuts, dude. I know Apple gets a lot of shit, but... Apple gets a lot of shit. That's a lot of shit. But those things have insane, like assuming their claims, which are usually a little uh, overshot, but assuming the claims are even remotely accurate, those things are insane. Yeah, somehow, some way, they are introducing their most recent chips in an iPad first. What what does anybody so I don't even understand the point of an iPad Pro. Other than flexing on people that you have an iPad Pro, what the fuck's the point? I don't get it. Can anybody explain to me wh why anybody would what the fuck's the point? At Pro, what the fuck Pro? What the fuck? What's the point? I don't get it. Can anybody explain to me wh why anybody would ever buy one of those things other than the Flex? Yeah, I heard the new iPad Pro is apparently air, thinner and lighter than the iPad Air. I know there are businesses that use iPads for work, but you don't like Anything past the M1 Mac already or the M1 chip is already significant overkill. I don't I don't think is ever you. I don't think anybody is ever you. Like, okay, what I'm trying to get at is that with these new, like, new chips that they're releasing, already you cannot really run any software on that device that is ever going to really stress the the CPU as it is. And now, and now the CPU is going to get even more powerful, but there's still nothing that really stresses it. Like, nobody's going to be editing 8K video on an iPad, right? Maybe. There's maybe like four people in the world that do that, but. I don't know, man. It just kind of seems like it's a little uh, disconnected from reality. Like, it's, yeah, it's cool. I'm glad they're still developing, you know, new chips. That's pretty sick. But if you're never going to use more than like 50% of a, of, of a horsepower, it, it, it's, I don't know. I feel like the software of every iPad has been holding it back for like a decade. I find, I find iPad OS kind of weird. I don't really know what you do with it. I feel like the 99% of people that have an iPad use it for like, Reading ebooks, watching YouTube videos, Twitch streams. The reason that sort of I'm thing. always around is because you are awesome at what you will always. 
We will. Oh, thank you very much, Mickey. That's awesome, man. Appreciate it. They can market that it's bigger, better, and cooler. And then they can charge you more money. I guess that is true. Yeah, that is true. I don't know. I think, I think those Apple chips are pretty sick, but I find it weird to introduce it first into an iPad. I just... I feel like nobody really needs a chip that strong for an iPad. It's nice, but... Yeah, they're not really production tools, right? Like, it's a bit weird to... Maybe they're really good, but... Since you own Apple stock, you look forward to questioning the Apple CEO on our next dinner? That makes sense. You've been looking into an iPad for a while to store your piano sheets, but the price and the lack of a home button is stopping you. Really? I get the price. I get the price. Sure. The lack of a home button? In my mind is a non-issue, but... Fair enough. You think it's just a flex for their flagship product? Probably. Yeah. I don't know. I uh, I have not missed the home button ever since they removed it. You don't like really gesture-based navigation? Fair. Are there still phones that have physical home buttons? <laughs> I kind of feel like that's... Are there still phones that have physical home buttons? <laughs> I'm trying to think right now. I feel like every phone has just become like a box with glass on the front and the back. I kind of feel like that's every phone. Do they still have buttons? I don't think any phone still has a physical home button, right? Yours doesn't, but you wish it did have one? Fair. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really miss... Uh... My dad has one of those. My, my dad has an iPhone SE from like two years ago or so, and that one does have a physical home button. Yeah. They don't really, but Android lets you mimic the physical ones. I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, I think everybody got used to not having a home button very quick. But it kind of feels like, you know, rectangular boxes, be it phones or be it tablets, have kind of like maxed out. I feel like every year the improvements are kind of nice, but like, you know. Now it's a rectangular iPad that is slightly faster than the previous one with a slightly better screen and a slightly better camera and shit. Yeah, it's, you know, if you look at like four generations of difference, sure, that it makes a big significant difference, but. <sighs> I don't know. You know, now it's a rectangular iPad. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, there's not really a lot of creativity in phones, but it's okay. You know what I would like if they changed for phones? And for iPads and all that shit in general? For iPads and all that shit in iPads and all that shit and all that shit in In general, I would like it to just be flat again. Like, I feel like it would be a significant improvement if they made, like, the, the, the camera that sticks out of the back, if that was, like, flush with the phone again. But I feel like every generation, they just make that thing thicker, uh, thicker and thicker. Yeah, yeah. Cameras on phones have gotten really good. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I understand that the glass needs certain distances. But I also wouldn't mind it if, in general, phones were a little thicker, though. Like, maybe make the phone thicker, and just have, like, a fucking week long... Just have, like, a fucking... Like, a fucking... Week long battery life. Where's my week long battery life, chat? That would be sick. I don't know why phones need to be too thin. It's the same for that new iPad. Like, they made it thinner to the point where I know people are gonna bend it. Like, people are definitely gonna accidentally bend it. How thin is that thing? They said it was like the iPad Pro 2024 thickness. Because they are claiming that it's the thinnest Apple device they have ever made. 5.1 millimeters for the 13 inch tablet. 5.1 millimeters. That is very thin. That is less than a... Hmm. 
I don't know how that works in American. But 5.1 is not very much. Do you think people could accidentally bend it? Okay, here's what it looks like, apparently. So you can kind of visualize how th thick a USB-C charger is. Yeah, that's really thin, dude. I feel like you could accidentally snap it. Maybe I'm wrong, but... It's almost half of a nine millimeter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's almost half of a of a nine millimeter round. I really think you could accidentally like like break the glass. Yeah, yeah. Like, say you accidentally sit on it, it's completely like you're you're fucked. You're super completely like you're 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 fucked. You're you're, you're fucked. You're You're super fucked. If you accidentally like leave it, you're, fucked. you're super, super fucked. If you're super, fucked. if you accidentally like leave it, if if you accident, if you accidentally, if you super, if you accidentally like leave it on the couch and you sit on it because there's like a pillow on top of it, it definitely breaks. I mean, maybe I shouldn't say definitely, but I feel like, I feel like it would break. It's about a fifth of an inch. There you go. Yeah, there's DaVinci Resolve on an iPad. So that, that's video editing. But who's out there actually editing video on an iPad? Maybe I, I don't know. I don't know anybody that does that. So I find the whole device a bit funky. Like, I feel like a majority of people that have an iPad use it to watch content. So to have, like, all the flagship hardware on a device that... ...watches YouTube videos in 1080p... I don't know. Oh no, somebody- no! Oh no, somebody- no! Oh, this is- this is last year's one. This is- okay. Nah, no, this is Jerry, dude. This is last year's one. Jerry! Jerry is gonna do this as well to the new one, this for sure. This iPad 10th generation, however. This is last year's one? Oh no, somebody- no! Oh, this is- this is last year's one. This is- okay. Nah, no, this is Jerry, dude. This is last year's one. Jerry! Jerry is gonna do this as well to the new one, this for sure. This iPad 10th generation, however. This is last year's one? Bro, we didn't even need to try! Didn't even need to try! 10th generation. This is last- This is This is last year's one? Bro, he didn't even need to try! He didn't even try! Along with the older iPad Mini, it too survived the bin test. This iPad 10th generation, however... 
Oh my god. That broke so quick. When I first got... Does he have the new one? No, he didn't make a video for the new one yet. Okay. Dang. That's gross. I don't like that at all. That actually made me feel really uncomfortable. <laughs> it seems like such a waste. <laughs> First we had a Kirby drawn on the back, now this. Oh yeah, yay. Well, it's kind of Jerry Jerry's content, right? That's, that's kind of what he does. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I find I kind of like it whenever hardware. So from what I understand, the new iPad, it has like 10 hours of battery life, which is the same amount of time as the pre previous iPad, right? So 10 hours of like screen on battery life. Apparently though, it's significantly thinner and they can get away with less battery because they have got a more cost or like energy efficient chip inside of it, right? So they have a new chip that is more energy efficient. So they've basically decided that 10 hours is what people want, right? Because they could have they could have kept it the same thickness and probably gave it like 15, maybe 20 hours of battery life, but they purposefully made the decision not to do it and just make it thinner. I don't like the... Why, why, make, why make technology thinner? Is that really what we want? Is that like... I feel like the, 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 the cost increase for them would be negligible, but... I don't, I don't really want that personally. I don't think I do anyways. I would like my phone to be thicker and have a week long battery life, right? Like that would be sick. Yeah, maybe it's more marketable. Maybe. And this is because. Yeah, there are people. Maybe. And this is. Yeah, there are people that use DaVinci Resolve for an iPad. Fair. I don't know. Just stop thinking, Loco. Buy the paper. Steve Jobs is. Rolling in his grave? Why? <laughs> because Apple made the sickest iPad they could have made? <laughs> yeah, no, he, he would be really upset, man. Mm -mm. Have a softball-sized rock that you can bludgeon your opponents with? There you go. That's how you want to have your phone? Very nice. You just want to walk around with it in your pocket, don't you, Rufus? Yeah. Is that your phone or are you just excited to be here? Yeah, 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 that's your... Yeah, I see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, guys. I'm gonna cast some StarCraft. That's the plan. Yeah, how... 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 I don't even know if there's... is fleeing from something, guys. Responsibilities. Life. I do. Stop until they play in GSL Code S. Oh, dude. This weird tribalism for the Korean... Uh, Italian stallion. Are you can do, dude. This is turning out to be a shit post. It was. This is why you had a you had to drive for six hours. Japanese turn. I drove the. Right on the road, actually. I don't even understand the. Rest. It's just the hook, I guess. Yeah, to get at least a couple of upvotes. You love to see it. Mm -mm. Hope you're doing all right, work. This guy. Yeah. Working from home, Lamau. My upvoted posts on Reddit is this one. Yeah, this is a great, a great image. Skytos, seven base macro corruptors, and loco. Yeah. Here I go. I'm finally free. Skytos, again. Yeah. Very true. Very true. Yeah. Lovely times. Three years ago. Not much has changed, huh? I really don't understand how it can be hard for Zerk to counter Skytals nowadays. <laughs> really? <laughs> Alright. Well done. Nice to see. Are you not working, Meerkats? Are you making fun of people that do work? Wow. It's okay. It's hard to play. Or hard to get. Whatever. Yeah, 
Paris. Jay looking at a thermometer. It's all right, all right. That is supremacy. Yeah, freedom now. Because of the skill. And then we have a picture on the left of one of the Giga Chat. Is supremacy. Yeah, freedom never balance. I figured I was a little early today so I could get. What's going on, Nolan? Loco chose violence. I figured I was a little early. Fahrenheit is the temperature of the human experience. Yeah, it's not though. What's going on, Nolan? Fahrenheit is the temperature of the experience today so I could get my Fahrenheit. Loco chose violence. I figured I was a little early today so I could get my Fahrenheit shit talking out of the way because, you know, Fahrenheit shit talking out of the way. Fahrenheit shit. Fahrenheit shit. Talking out of the way because, you know, America is still mostly asleep, but it turns out some of you are early. Dang it, man. I had this whole speech prepared. It was called Hating on Fahrenheit. Subtitle was Fuck Fahrenheit, but here we are. Subtitle was Fuck Fahrenheit, but here we are. Celsius supremacy. Yeah, freedom never sleeps. <laughs> That's true. I guess that's true. What did Mr. Fahrenheit look like? What, what, what did Mr. Fahrenheit look like? Can we figure this out? Fahrenheit Wikipedia. This was made by Gabriel Fahrenheit. Okay. And then we gotta find a picture of Celsius. Anders Celsius. Alright, chat. I will show you two photographs. You can choose which one one of the two is more of a giga chat. All right. Um, the only problem is one of them does not look quite as okay. It's all right. It's all right. All right. So we have the picture on the right of one of the giga chats, and then we have a picture on the left of one of the giga chats. Clearly, the guy on the left wins. Look, he even put us he put on his lipstick just for the occasion. Yeah, and this is Mr. Celsius right over here. This dude, down on one knee, looking at a thermometer, that is Fahrenheit. Like, this guy looks constipated, to say the least. It's not fair, Loco, it's in color. Isn't that the guitar player from Queen? I think so, yeah. Pretty sure. This Fahrenheit guy had no idea what he was up to. E, B... Look, he was even thinking about using other letters. C... A, F, C, C, B, and then another C. It's very confusing, dude. Even Fahrenheit has two times the letter C on this image of his Wikipedia. Come on, man. He's definitely looking at a thermometer made by this giga chat over here. Yeah, why are his eyes X'd out? Maybe he was blind. You really want to have a guy who was blind decide to... No, no, no. Oh, that's a good, good comeback, yeah. Fahrenheit was so busy doing science, he didn't have time to pose for as beautiful a portrait as Miss Elsie is over here. This is actually a really cool portrait, but I'm a little confused by the lips. Like, why did they, why did the, why did the artist continue the lips over here? Why, <laughs> what is this, <laughs> what is this little, he's got another one on the other side too, so it is on purpose. Did he actually purposefully extend his lipstick? It's definitely possible. Maybe he was a fan of Harstems? Yeah, could be. He had his priorities straight. Can we find a better photo of Fahrenheit? Let's see. I will go to the English... Ugh, look at this thermometer, chat. LOL. I will go to the English page of Fahrenheit. Ugh, look at this... Red Panda, what's up, chat? LOL. Invented by Daniel, invented by Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit. This is the only picture we have of Fahrenheit? This is Fahrenheit's entire Wikipedia page? I don't like it, man. Fahrenheit came up with the idea that mercury boils.
boils around 300 degrees on this temperature scale. Work by others showed that water boils at about 180 degrees above its freezing point. The Fahrenheit scale later was redefined to make the freezing to boiling interval exactly 180 degrees. A convenient value as 180 is a highly composite number it is because meaning that it evenly is divisible into many fractions. It is because of the skill's redefinition that normal mean body temperature today is taken at 98.6 degrees, whereas it was 96 degrees on Fahrenheit's original skill. Bro, this guy just stuck a thumb up his ass and decided that was 100 degrees, okay? That, that is the ass and decided that was 100 Bro, this guy just stuck a thumb up his ass and decided that was 100 degrees, okay? That, that is the basis of the Fahrenheit skill. I'm pretty sure that's what he was doing here. That's why he looks a little constipated. Where is his right hand, Chet? No, 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 no. I am I'm a Celsius simp. That's how we call ourselves. The Celsius boys. According to history, it was actually his wife's temperature. The Fahrenheit skill was the primary temperature standard for climactic or climatic industrial and medicinal okay yeah in the english-speaking countries until 1970 presently mostly replaced by the celsius scale long used in the rest of the world apart from the united states where the temperature and weather reports are still broadcast in fahrenheit they have that freedom yeah they have that freedom to choose whatever they like that's that's fair what Wait, 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 wait. The house where Gabriel Fahrenheit died? In the Netherlands? No, 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 no. This goes against my narrative. We, we probably killed him. Yeah. There's a good chance that he got shot. Or something. I don't know. Can we find something about his... Uh, okay. Fahrenheit stayed at the house of Johannes Frisleven. Okay, playing square in The Hague in connection with an application for a patent at the States of Holland and West Friesland. At the beginning of September, he became ill on the 7th. His health had deteriorated, okay. On the 11th, the notary came, okay. Five days after that, he died at the age of 50. Oh, man. That's kind of sad. Yeah, we may have poisoned him. There's a chance that he was poisoned, dude. The Dutch tried to silence him. Okay, what about Celsius? Anders Celsius. Dude, every everybody died so young back then. It's actually insane. 42. I feel like on his picture he's about 74, but he's from Sweden. Do we really wanna, hmm, he's from Nice. He's from Sweden. Do we really wanna, hmm, he's from Sweden, guys. Hmm. hmm. I don't know how we, uh, how do we feel about that? Yeah, Fahrenheit probably died while he had a 110 degree fever or so, yeah. Look, this is before he, uh, he had time to pose for pretty pictures. That's a scary photo, dude. This looks like one of those pictures that shows up when you're playing Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Suddenly, Anders Celsius shows up. Terrifying. Harry? What's up, Harry? This was before filters? I think so, too, yeah. He also has a very short Wikipedia page. Okay, we have one more Giga Chat that could be a contender as well. well. Kelvin. Who came up with this? Ooh, Chet. I don't know what's going on, but this guy is certainly beating both Fahrenheit as well as Celsius. Look at this dude. He's got a beard and everything, yeah. This is not just any Kelvin. This is Lord Kelvin. Good day, Emperor Loco and my comrade in chat. Sorry that my I missed it. Getting new RT's game that is free on Steam. Kelvin. Another one? Thank you very much. Cash. The game is called. We will have a look at that in just. A Thank you, man. So this guy was Lord Kelvin. First Baron. Baron Kelvin. So this guy was Lord Kelvin. So this guy was Lord Kelvin. First Baron Kelvin. The professor of natural philosophy at the University of Glasgow, for 53 years. Dude, this guy was a university professor for, like, one and a half Fahrenheit's. Yeah, I think that's what we should call one Fahrenheit, actually. The lifespan of a Fahrenheit. Hmm. He also is at, like, 1.2 or so Celsius. Or Celsii? This guy might be the GOAT. Look, look at his title. 
The Right Honorable the Lord Kelvin. Lord Kelvin, please take my temperature low hot. Yeah. He was British. Dude, this guy had so much time in his life that he got married twice. Yeah, he didn't mess around. No kids at all though. No kids, married twice. What a chad. This academic advisor was William Hopkins? Oh my god. Chad, I think, I think we have a winner. Yeah, we need to throw both Kelvin- Or wait, no, 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 not Kelvin, sorry. We need to throw both Fahrenheit as well as Celsius out of the window. This guy got a warts and shit. Yeah. This guy got a warts and shit. Yeah. Yeah. This guy loved playing <laughs> player versus player. If it was up to Kelvin, this is his signature, apparently. This guy would have PvP'd the hell out of Celsius and Fahrenheit. There was no chance. You can tell that his mic as far as the K goes. Like, what happened to the K? I don't even want to know what happened here. He made his own character just for that. Plus, one important difference here to note as well is that Fahrenheit was born before time began. He was born before 1776. I think the same can be said for Celsius, right? But not for the Honorable Lord Kelvin. I think we have a winner. Yeah. It may not be as practical, but it certainly does carry a lot more weight. Yeah. I think we have a winner. What was the reason, by the way, that this guy was like, you know what, we need to change the scale again? Does that, like... Oh, uh, this looks like some nerd shit, dude. I, oh, yeah, he obviously came up with absolute zero. Right, 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 right. I, I see. Look at this guy. Damn, dude. If you try to tell this guy anything, about Fahrenheit or Celsius, this is the face he'll make. Do you want to argue with the honorable right Lord Kelvin? Yeah. This guy is such a giga chat that even, even though he's got a killer jawline, he let a beard grow over it. He kind of looks like Saruman a little bit. He's even wearing a cape, dude. Amazing. That's a great photograph. The look on his eyes. Yeah, this guy definitely seems smart. <laughs> the Saruman of science. Mm-hmm. Look at this, there's even a bronze bust of Lord Kelvin. Gla sorry. Glas in Gla sorry. Glasgow. That was my best Scottish attempt. Gla Glasgow. Sorry. Um he's even got a bronze bust. I've never seen a Fahrenheit bust before. Yeah. There's even a memorial. Yeah, yeah. Next to the University of Glasgow. Yeah. He may have been cosplaying Christopher Lee before Christopher Lee was even born. Although I say that, this guy died in 1895. I don't know when Christopher Lee, but it can't be far off. Dude, maybe he was, maybe it's reincarnation. Christopher Lee. Ooh, 1922. 1922. We're not far off, man. Yeah, maybe he roamed uh, the, the world for a couple, couple decades. Then he decided, you know what? But it's time. Yeah. He also predicted that airplanes wouldn't work. Oh. Oh, he died, died just too early for that, eh? He predicted airplanes don't work? Should have stayed alive for like another decade. <sighs> he was. <laughs> what about Boeing? Hey. Hey. There it is. Very well done. Dude, this is this is the University of Scotland in 1890. 
Look at this place. University of Glasgow. That looks pretty, man. Yeah, this could be Hogwarts. Pretty sure. You're fragile and you're gonna ride 10 planes in May? I think you'll be alright. Are you flying a Boeing? You're probably flying a Boeing, let's be real. I have not seen this game before. I'm not a you I feel like I have seen this before. I don't know. But I don't know. I'm tilted. Somebody said something like this. They're super elo. Don't tell me I've had super- Hey! Bro, don't tell me- The Wizard of Oz? What do you think is behind the mountain? The Wizard of Oz? Really? Hey! Bro, don't tell me there's a fucking mountain- Bro, don't tell me there's a fuck. There's a fuck. Fucking- Mountain fill. Is this bait? Don't tell me I've had super alloy right next to my base this entire time. There's super alloy. <gasps> Somebody said something like this earlier, but I thought they were talking about something else. No way. I've taken all this time to make super alloy. I. <laughs> you haven't been watching from the beginning? That's okay. That's okay. Loco is tilted. I'm not tilted. Now I'm tilted. Not very comfortable though. I'm gonna go back to being untilted. I feel like I haven't been tilted on stream in a long time. It's because I haven't been playing much StarCraft 2. Like that's really uh... Not playing StarCraft 2 has been pretty great for my mental health, I'm not gonna lie. But recently I have had the urge to play StarCraft 2 again. Mental health is a resource? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You gotta consume it. Mental health is a reason. That's really cursed. No, 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 no. Okay. Chat, here we go. My mental health is pretty OP, dude. <sighs> Gotta keep those resources down. Mm. Dude, I actually have a backpack full of freaking super alloy now. I can't believe this. Well, I can't believe it. It's just that I'm surprised. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna do another trip. I'm gonna do another trip. You like playing the ladder the same way you like your job? You don't? <laughs> Much like laddering though, do you sometimes feel like waking up in the morning and you're like, Oh, this is gonna be sick. You do sometimes? The ladder is evil? That's true. What's going on, Mot Light guys? How are you doing today? You waved hello at our latest VIP. Don! Don Pan! He's been- You're awake? Okay, that wasn't- VIP Donnie. Oh shit, dude! Do I get another golden phallus? I hope so. I hope so, chat. Fingers crossed. What? A golden effigy? It's not a phallus, but it's um We yeah, we can we can Oh shit, dude! Do I get another golden phallus? I hope so. I hope so, chat. Fingers crossed. What? A golden effigy? Okay, it's not a phallus, but it's um We can work with it. We yeah, we can we can work with that. For alloy from destroying that chest as well. I remember when Mufasa took me up here and he decided to show me. For the first once. And this is how you treat other. Damn. Didn't you. Whoa, whoa, Echo, what the hell? I was just about to do my stand up for a long time. VIP. Stand up comedian. Number get big. Oh, guys. Yeah. Just as laggy. Yeah, there's one out. little. You can try to gun. You have a ton of things you could throw at them. Like what? <laughs> you had... Uh oh. There goes the machine gun. Straight up, straight up, straight up. Man. Oh, on. seven! <laughs> After a jetpack, you can imagine still take if a I just turn, hit right? him one more time previous turn. After a jet. Don't slip in between. No. Oh, it's a very. Oh. Yes. It's a very... Oh. Don't slip in between. No. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> now just jump. Go ahead and just jump. 
Yep. And we're going. Oh, yes. <laughs> nice. Walk over that six, six or seven Ooh, times. That's, that's what you get, you little rat. Oh. Whew. I walked over that like seven, seven, four or five times. That's incredible. There's about what a 50% so chance Strategy is going to hit himself here. I'm feeling pretty confident. I should have. Uh... You got girders. How the fuck? You got girders. How the fuck? You got girders, my guy. Oh, he's got a sheep. Sheep. Him. Uh, him. So. Do it. Do it. Do it. No, no. Oh. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh, did yes! you press space? He put space. space! Oh no! No, it all jumps! The Eurovision today, guys, but at least we won some. Wow, stream a luck! Wow. Mm, 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 oh, mm. Yeah. I didn't even get an award. <laughs> oh wow, that's bad. That is, uh, yeah, uh -huh. that's not great. Hey, I killed someone. Yeah, you guys gonna switch games now? That is, uh, yeah, uh -huh. that's not great. Hey, I killed someone. <clears throat> Sysadmin has been busy making his team for like an hour. Just don't go. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Face the other way, then back flip. Uh, back flip. How do you have a what? Sorry. You can tell if you have a rep Seiko if the bezel is actually aligned. <laughs> He's just beginning. New agency. Got a little something for you. Revenue, uh, you revenue agency is great. Is it the... It's like the money bank. Nice. <laughs> the strategist. Oh, free, oh, free HP. Yeah. There's a, a worm waiting on the bus. Go round and round. No, oh, it's not no, available no. yet. Okay. The I was like, why is it not allowing me to? Round, round, round. There are buses in the U.S., right? Oh, where are you going? Oh, 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 oh. Wait! Dwish! <laughs> Come inside this what? building. What? God, I do know someone who peed in the top uh, deck of a bus once. That's not great. God, okay. I do know someone who peed in the top uh, deck of a bus once. Don't come inside this <laughs> what? building. What? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah, like it like that I just... knew him. Oh, where are you, oh, you going? Oh. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> you aimed that perfectly, man. That was impressive. Where oh, oh, are you no. going? Wait! <laughs> Twish! <laughs> you aimed that perfectly, man. That was impressive. I could no. not even see. <laughs> this is not strategy, it's just this game. I, I was trying to zoom out. I realized it was too late. By the time I zoomed out, I'm like, oh, I'm going in the water. <laughs> yeah, you can only fly for a little while. I was trying to land in Ooh. front. Holy bomb. I do have a holy have bomb, but that seems flight. a little yeah, excessive. Yeah, not how I did. <laughs> Whatever you do to me, I'll come back strong now. Yeah. I was just demonstrating what Echo Steel should that, I think so, That too. rule doesn't apply if you die. Um, I how- what, what is- I thought you meant- no, no, no. I thought you, Actually, I thought, me I thought you meant other side, uh... <laughs> yeah. there. Angel. We that it? was no reason. Mingy's homing. My one. Uh, Absolute. I mean, one day, very long time sub at this point. Yeah. It's very generous. Welcome back to the 14th of May. Yeah. It has been. Uh, it has been multiple 14ths of May, hasn't it been? I think so. Yeah. I'm a little early today. Yeah. I'm there is a. I don't know why. Watching these videos. Video that I. I don't even know what you just linked. Diaboli. No, this is. I don't even. It makes me very uncomfortable. I don't. What are we even looking at on YouTube and I followed here? Yeah. That seems to be quite a few people usually. I should. It's you suggesting it, Gabe. Are they- I'm looking at the- I guess you're talking about a different chat channel. Nope, still don't see any Edzilla memes, memes in other ones either. I- I don't know. Quote unquote. You tag me- Dude, I'm not even gonna click that. You tag me in a meme that says loop life. That is literally- You tag me- I found local on YouTube and I followed here.
That seems to be quite a... Should check the Patreon chat for some quality memes. It's you suggesting it, Gabe. Are they quality memes? Still don't see... You tag me... Dude, I'm not even gonna click that. You tag me in a meme that says loop life. That is literally what you linked. I'm not even gonna watch that. No, 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 no. That is one that I... I just immediately skip. That's an auto skip for me. Yeah, right away. Okay, fine, I'll watch it. Okay. There's t talking too. Okay, look, 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 look. See, 12 fluid ounces, right? Let's see what the size is. Okay. Okay, no, 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 I don't need to watch this. I don't need to watch a video about... No, no, no. I think I'm all right. I don't know about that one. Anyways, guys, good morning. Day 9 story time, the horrifying artosis. Wait, the horrifying time, artosis. Oh my I want to watch this. Oh my god. Oh my god. I forgot. Me? I want to watch this. Artosis raided me? Oh my god. I forgot. Oh my god. Okay, I have a friend by the name of Artosis. I've known Artosis for 20 years. We played StarCraft 1 together when we were in, like, middle school. All the way through high school and college and afterwards. We, you know, played against each other at tournaments. We both went to StarCraft commentary. I love Artosis. Our channel on Twitch Very is different. wonderful. Everyone is sweet and thoughtful. Yes, occasionally someone comes in and tries to troll a little bit. But then our mods are like, hey, please Highlight stop. of Game Lines, we clow. Thank you, serious. Everything is great here. Artosis's channel on Twitch is a fucking dumpster fire, dude. Is a f fucking <laughs> dumpster fire, dude. Yeah, basically, if you've never seen Artosis's chat before, it is. One of the most cursed experiences ever. Like three dollars at a time, there is a lot of Mario and Luigi erotica. That is basically what's going on. It's like, you know, sometimes you can go to like a museum and there's like an art section and you're wondering why anybody would go in there because it's all very weird. Right? But you also understand that some people may find it fascinating, so they kind of just go check it out, and they're, like, just confused about the whole situation. That's kind of... That's kind of the way that I view Artosis' Twitch stream, at the very least. It's... It's like a museum where the art form is not one that I fully understand, but I do get it? Anyways, um, I guess Day 9 are... You know in the Galapagos Islands, where, like, there's no... There's a completely different set of, like, predators and prey, so, like, creatures just evolve in, like, really weird ways, because yep. there's not certain kinds of evolutionary pressures. Like, Artosis' chat is just this continuous downward spiral where no one gets banned for anything, so it's just this continuous intellectual inbreeding <laughs> whose apparent terminus is Mar- <laughs> Whoa! Continuous intellectual inbreeding is not a set of words that I have ever heard together. Yeah, that's beautiful. Mario and Luigi Erotica. Okay, hold up. Reading, whose apparent terminus is Mario and Luigi Erotica. And Artosis has text-to-speech on, such that anything any of these absolutely degenerate, multi-chromosomal <laughs> monstrosities roaming the I chat, think most of us all are. All of them. Oh, hold on, I'm on fire. We'll post the most appalling shit ever, and then Artosis will post the most appalling shit ever. It's appalling shit. Ever. And then Artosa's text to speech will just say it out loud. Dan, aka Artosis, also gets really, really, really mad when he plays. So he's raging and he's screaming, <laughs> and you're just hearing, hey, Artosis. Do you remember that time when Mario fucked Luigi? <laughs> and it's just <laughs> Luigi. Mario fucked Mario fucked
Luigi. <laughs> and it's just keeps going, but it's like continuous for like four hours. And his scowl remains unfazed as continuous references to what kind of plumbing tube Mario is jumping into keeps getting rattled off on his stream. And so I watch his stream, okay? I watch our I do too. stream regularly. Artie, uh, Artie certainly doesn't stream at a very good time for me, but whenever I can, I do go to uh, check out that wing of the museum. <laughs> It's weird because Artosis makes a lot of money doing that too, man. It's basically continuous $3 donations the entire stream long. At least a few times I've been able to tune in because I wake up in the middle of the night. It's just the entire time. So it's, you know, this adds up very quickly, but yeah. It's just much like the Galapagos, right? Where you go there and you're like, what fascinating creatures. It's like that, except imagine the entire island is capsizing as it's just hit with bombs and is sinking into the ocean, and yet for some reason it just hasn't quite gone all the way under. I need to see what's happening. It's anthropologically important. And so, one day, something unusual happened. Artosis raided my stream. <laughs> That doesn't normally happen, because normally Dan's streaming later than I do, so I'm always raiding Dan, but then Dan raids me, and suddenly there's a horde of these unusual evolutionary specimens showing up to my channel, and they're like, hey, hey, did you know that, did you know that Mario fucked Luigi? <laughs> <laughs> Coming into my hey, did you know that, did you know that Mario fucked, Mario fucked, fucked Luigi? Luigi <laughs> coming into my channel. <laughs> and I mean, it was a lot. I mean, like giant ASCII, like Mario penises, like in my chat. It's just a nightmare, very abruptly. And so are mods who have banned terms, you know, such as like racial slurs. These are like banned terms, things that are people trying to type a racial slur, but like, you know, permuting the letters to try to be sneaky. You know, those are banned. And our mods just couldn't figure out how to stop getting everyone from Dan's chat to talk about Mario and Luigi banging. And so our mods banned Mario from chat, banned Luigi from chat, like those terms. If oh, do you, you auto ban the words? You get time out it. Uh, plumber. <laughs> Wait, what were some of the other ones? Because I just saw uh, our, our head mod, Ghost Talker, go, whoops, let me fix that. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me just look at this. Remove blocked term erotica. Remove blocked term peach. Remove blocked term Bowser. Remove blocked term erotica. Remove blocked term Mario. Remove blocked term Luigi. <laughs> and you know what happened? When all of a sudden our mods put those things in, my chat got really quiet. <laughs> that yeah. is why Ghost Stalker is the greatest mod of all time. Ghost Stalker identified this completely chaotic mess that will only ever happen once in the history of humanity and went, I know how to use the tools given to me by Twitch to solve this specific problem that Day9 is experiencing right now. <laughs> so we may all. We also have a bunch of banned words over here, but they're the most obvious ones, you know? Not Mario and Luigi. No, I do have a bunch of words on that list too. Some that I added myself, some that are, I think, commonly used on Twitch. Give a nice bow to Artosis. And then maybe tune into Dan later tonight. <laughs> yeah, I, do also, I did also put the Brill characters on that list too, so you guys can't really post ASCII art, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Uh, I do find the Mario Erotica surprisingly funny usually, though, because you go to the channel and you just... People get very creative, you know? Because, in case you're unfamiliar, Artosis obviously cannot have everything being set out loud by the chatbot, right? So the problem is, if you just put no filter on that and you skip nothing, people will try to one-up each other, so you just end up with the most ridiculous chat experience ever. So, what Artosis has done, because obviously the viewers are pretty clever, right? They would wait until he's like, in the most intense moment of his game. So he's playing like a Terran versus Protoss. Protoss is just about to recall into the main base, right? That's when Artosis tends to get the most angry. That's also when he's unable to click away from his screen and 
hit the skip button, right? So he, he would be unable to do it. That's exactly when the Mario or Vodka in particular would strike and when the most cursed messages would come in. So what Artosis has done, from what I understand, is he's got like a USB foot pedal that he's got on the floor that he has bound his skip donation alert to. So like, he's literally in the middle of a game. He doesn't have to take his hands and his mouth off any, he just, he just uses his foot pedal. That's actually kind of brilliant. Yeah. That is one of my favorite things ever. But of course, Twitch chat will find a way around that, I'm sure. Yeah. It is actually very clever. I rarely need to use the skip button. I, I barely ever do it. So I have never found a, a use for that because we have a pretty f sophisticated chat. Yeah. <sighs> I remember he used to have a press a button on the desk mid game. Yeah, that's not very useful. That's what I have. I have a button on my desk too. But we don't get donations that frequently that I can't like stay on top of it, you know? But um... Have I checked out the custom TTS? Yeah, yeah, I don't really like the idea so much of AI text-to-speech. I'm not a... I don't know. I had that set up on my stream for a little bit when the AI things first became like a thing and then I realized, you know what, this is actually not really that cool. I wouldn't like it if people used my voice. But yeah. There is actually a thing, dude. Somebody tweeted me about this a couple days ago. Let me try and see if I can pull this up. I don't like this sort of thing. They randomly tweeted at me a few days back. And I was like, holy shit. A few days. Look at this shit, man. Ready for a f Yeah, look at this shit. This shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit, man. man ready for a french version of your video we created it so you can take advantage of youtube's new feature for multi-language audio so what they've done is they automatically detected all the words that i say in one of my videos then they automatically translated it to french then they use an ai version of my voice that speaks french and then they paste it underneath the video again i don't quite understand the technology behind it but it disturbs me very, very greatly. L listen to this shit. L listen to this shit. shit. Listen to this shit. Y en a-t-il assez? La micro de Max Pax est généralement excellente. Jusqu'à présent, il n'a perdu que la depth. La seule unité qui n'a pas de blink. Merveilleux contrôle. Il a regardé derrière lui pendant un instant. It doesn't really sound like me. Not really, not quite. It sounds very dead. I would like to think my voice sounds a little bit more lively than that. But it's still... This is not the French I know, by the way. Like, maybe this is just... Maybe it's Canadian French? Or Belgian French or something? I don't honestly know. This does not sound like French French that I had in school, but... En s'attaquant à toutes les unités qu'il peut. Oui, désolé, adepte. Mais tu n'es pas très important pour it is, Max It Pax. is Canadian. Very heavy Steam accent. Pack. Still though, it's, it's kind of disturbing, right? And the fact that they did this without asking for permission or whatever. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Very scary. It's weird French. <laughs> but Papuch refers to Canadian French as weird French. I like it. He's not wrong. It does sound a bit weird. It doesn't really try to emulate a real voice. Well, not yet. Not yet. That's the thing. It will. Uh, not a Sort of has a weak. What? I need to kill this adept. Isn't this the most. That adept is not actually. Huh? What? I've never seen that before. Happening Phil. It's like, what? Is ESL emergency? Why did you buy so mega? What are we even? <laughs> a biotic factor. Seen Abby. 
Have I seen Abiotic Factor? Abiotic Factor? What are we even... <laughs> what? So, ready for your... <laughs> this game just went into early access last week. The first day. Okay, you're the transfer, huh? You sure picked a day. Things a bit hectic downstairs this morning. This is weirdly nostalgic. How the fuck do I get nostalgic over these, like... Do I get nostalgic over these? How the fuck do I... Do I get nostalgic over these, like, early 2000s graphics? Yeah, that's amazing. It's very half life -y. Yeah. Huh. Dude, I love that this is a thing that's making a comeback. That's so fun to me. Like, for the longest time, we've had these pixel games, right? Pixel games really did make a comeback at some point. Apparently, this is the next step. Would you have thought it could all go so wrong so quickly oh my god it's so nostalgic i don't know <laughs> what's going on but if the big voice says get out i'd do what she says did you ever imagine something like this might happen oh my god that's so funny it's purposely made to look ugly great atmosphere dude in this game. There's so much. Okay. Better make a fuckle downstairs this morning. Better make a fuckle downstairs. Better make a fuckle downstairs. Fuckle downstairs this morning. Fuckle downstairs this morning. <laughs> Probably want to get a move on. I don't think Australia is real, is it? Do you guys think Australia actually exists? I will definitely save that. Overwhelmingly positive. 2nd of May 2024. Early access. No fucking idea, mate. Yeah. Deep field games. Abiotic factor. Wait, what? Core Keeper? Is Core Keeper by them? I have heard about Core Keeper. Studio. What? That's a very, very different game. Yeah, that is the same studio. Deep Field Games. Huh. Unfortunate Spacemen. Yeah, I heard Core Keeper is really good. Bunch of good games to play, gamers. Okay. Australia is full of criminals like Pig. Pig sent me that Scarlet replay yes yesterday okay he sent me that amazing game that Scarlet played against Gung Fu I don't know what the man did what his crimes are but I uh, I, I suggest we uh, we get rid of him I'm gonna just fast forward through a little bit of the game alrighty and it's mod instead but anyways and then instantly die
Bro, I suck at geography. Why do you have gotta do this? What? <sighs> Insane. Loki, you need to try this super fun geo guesser kind of. Get of them. Loki, you need to try this super fun geo guesser kind of website. OSRS guesser? Echo Stew? Or Soldier? No, not not OSRS guesser. Geo Grid? Geo Grid is a daily trivia game. Bro, I suck at geography. Why do you have gotta do this? Why, why do you have to do this to me? GeoGrid Board 10. Population over 10 million in North America? Wait, what am I doing? Population over 10 million? Is this a state? Yeah, New York is a good choice. You cannot use countries twice? Ah, population. Okay, so we go Canada over here. Okay. Flag with green. Flag with green in North America. Mexico? Capital city population over 1 million in North America. So we go New York over here or whatever, right? There's plenty of people there. What? Okay, maybe I need to save New York City. I don't know. Top 20 in French annual tourist arrival. French is the official language. Okay, I was gonna enter France over here. No, this is this is capital city population. Oh, it's a capital city. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm done. Or I'm dumb, Roder. Can I do Washington or something? Is that an option? Is that not considered to be... A capital city in North America. A capital city population over 1 million in North America. Is Washington DC not... Wait, am I misunderstanding something? I could do United States of America, sure. But the United States of America is not a capital city. Are all the answers always... <laughs> that doesn't say it anywhere. That's not obvious. I've never played this. Okay. Okay, okay. Top 20. That's not obvious. That doesn't say it anywhere. Are all the answers always only- I could do United States of America, sure. But the United States of America is not a capital city. Am I crazy? <laughs> that doesn't say it anywhere. That's not- yes. I've never played this. Okay. That doesn't say- it Okay. Okay, okay. Top 20 in annual tourist arrivals. I didn't realize every square needed to be a, a country, but I see. I see. French is an official language. Population over 10 million. I'm gonna go and decide on a crazy one, Chet. I'm gonna go with France. <laughs> I could have gone with Belgium. I think Belgium has a population over 10 million, but not, like, a population of French-speaking Belgians that is over 10 million. I think they probably have, like, a couple million people that speak France. Or French, rather. Flag with green, where French is an official language. Bro, where the fuck do they speak French? Why would anyone, uh, anybody want to speak French? Loads of French. Why, why do we have any... Yeah, they, they have... They, yeah, um, they have loads of different colonies. Yeah, there's a lot of different territory. Africa. Yeah. Sierra Leone? Is that a French colony? It sounds... Or, or what was it a French colony? It sounds like it should have been. I know they have green in the, fr in the flag. No, it's not good. It's not good. Haiti? Haiti? They don't have... Oh, they have green in the flag. That's a tough one. Legendary, bro. The only thing that's missing over here is, um... The dwarf from Hearthstone that's like, LEGENDARY! Right? Like, that, yeah, that's what we should have... That's what... French is an official language in a capital city population over 1 million. Can I, can I just enter Canada over here? I'm assuming they have... Wait, I already entered... Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. No, Quebec is not a... That's not a, not a country. That's not a country, dude. Belgium doesn't have a capital city that has a population of over 1 million. No way. It's like five people that live in Belgium, dude, in total. Maybe six. 
Um, Brussels has one point I can answer. Really? They have over one million people? I have been to Brussels. There's more than a million people in Brussels? That surprises me a bit. Those five to six people are very angry right now, Loco. You're probably right. Yeah. yeah. Once again, dude, Belgium in clutch. Okay, top 20 in annual tourist arrivals. Capital city population over 1 million. Okay. Flag with green. Dude, I suck at flags. Like, I feel like I can recognize a flag and then tell you what country. Okay, this one's easy. Many different options available. Basically 20. Yeah, Italy, Japan. I guess Italy has, has green in the flag. Flag with green. Okay, that's good. Capital city population over 1 million. We can go, we can go Netherlands. You know what? Let's go Netherlands over here. Legendary, bro. We're on the same tier as Haiti. Get wrecked. Capital city population over 1 million. I'm going to make the assumption Japan has about 17 cities that... What? Japan does... Whoa, whoa, hold up, hold up, hold up. Japan is not in the... Top 20 in annual tourist arrivals? Or does it not have a capital city that has over a million? There's only... Oh. Japan is not in the top 20 of annual tourist destinations? Is this one of those games where the data is American population? Because <laughs> I have played a lot. Because <laughs> I have very America focused. I could have gone with anything, dude. I could have gone with England. I could have gone with many different places, really. The dev is German. Okay. Okay, I want to do another one. Play a previous grid. Okay. It's a development index over zero. Over I just have to come up with one. You know, probably the Sudoku. Can we do like Spain? Yeah. Is an animal on the flag? Hold up. I wouldn't have gotten that one very easily. They didn't put a flag for this country. I don't think it's just everything. No. Um, landlocked. Turkey is definitely like most countries. Afghanistan? I have no idea. Albania? A landlocked country? It's got like one of those. What does Spain have? Germany has an eagle on the flag? Spain has an animal? A European country. Official name is Welsh Landy. A European country that has a flag with an animal. Okay. A European country that has... Spain has an animal? Germany has an eagle on the flag? What? No! Germany does not have an eagle on the flag, Chad. <laughs> that is way too fancy. No way. What does Spain have? Spain has a little thingamajig? I don't know what it is. Maybe it's an animal. Let's actually look at it. Yeah. Oh, it's got like one of those crests. It's got like a weapon crest type of thing. Yeah, okay, that works. A landlocked country with a flag that has an animal on it. Albania? No clue. This is tough. Afghanistan? I have no idea what their flag looks like. No clue. Landlock means that it's surrounded by countries. So there's like, it doesn't, it doesn't border on water. Like most countries border on water. Because, you know, trade is convenient. No coast. Yeah. Turkey is definitely not landlocked, man. <laughs> there's actually not that many countries that are landlocked. Yeah. Countries like, for example, Switzerland. Switzerland. Like, for example, this one. Switzerland, um, landlocked, because it's like, it's just a bunch of mountains and nobody ever wanted to live there. Um, maybe I should do Switzerland over here. Can I do the same thing twice? I, I, no, you can't, right? No. Um, currently there are 44 landlocked countries? This is bad, but like, I don't really know. 
know much about countries in Africa. I know of them by name for some of them, I guess, but I don't really know their positioning. Kazakhstan? Could be, dude. I don't know. Oh, hell yeah. That's one hell of a flag. Look at that. That's a very cool flag. I've never seen that before. Look at a little bird. Do I know any of the former colonies in Africa? I guess. That's a cool flag. Yeah. We should make a flag tier list. No, we should. It takes too long. Also, the Netherlands would just be S tier. Everybody else would be below it. Everything <laughs> everything else is F tier. South Africa is definitely not landlocked. No. French is the official language in a landlocked country. Switzerland over here. Here. Landlocked country? I don't even come up with any landlocked countries. Yeah, we can we can go for like the micro What do they speak in Liechtenstein? Luxembourg? Do they yeah they definitely speak French over there. That's landlocked. Yeah. Looks Luxembourg. Ooh. This is a wannabe Dutch flag, chat. This one is almost Dutch. It's just like, this is like the Dutch flag that your mom has thrown into the washer and then accidentally washed it too warm, you know? And then suddenly the colors are all washed out. Yeah, terrible. Flag with an animal, population under million. Yeah, it's a flag. Yeah, it's a weak ass flag. Flag. We don't want to flag with an animal with a population under 5 million. Yeah, that's really difficult because I can't come up with any flag that has an animal on it. And it's definitely not like countries that have less than 5 million people are also not really ones that you think about that often, right? Albania? Sure. Bhutan? I don't know. Sure. Albania. I don't know how many people live there. Okay. I guess that's an animal an animal dragons also definitely would have counted this is like a a joint twin eagle looking thing yeah yeah that's an eagle loco it's real i don't think eagles are real man i don't think these eagles are anyways it's a two-headed animal yeah it's an ugly eagle <laughs> okay a country in the beautiful Country of Europe that starts with the letter S. Spain. Oh, I've already entered Spain, though, you see. I'm dumb. Um, <laughs> literally. <laughs> we have a couple different options. Sweden. In Europe, where France... Or French, rather, is an official language. I mean, I, I guess I'll enter France over here. We can... We can... There we go, Chet. French is indeed an official language in France. Pretty good. Population... Under 5 million. Could be Belgium, dude. For all we know. Could definitely be Belgium. Um, What about Monaco? Is that considered? No, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a city, isn't it? It's not officially a country. Vatican? No, Vatican, they don't speak French. Is, is, is Monaco considered a country? Is it? Oh, good choice, Loco. I didn't actually realize it was a country. I thought it was a tax haven, but fair. Um, I guess it can be both. Yeah, it's a city-state. Yeah. Population under 5 million that starts with the letter S. Why can't I not come up with any country that starts with the letter S? San Marino? Ooh, strong. San Marino has like 12 people in total, I think. All right. I wouldn't have gotten that one very easily. Saint Vincent and the Grenadines would have also been an acceptable answer. I can't believe nobody in the chat <laughs> suggested it. I love the fact that the game's developer didn't even put a fucking flag. <laughs> didn't even put a fucking flag. Flag. <laughs> they didn't put a flag for this country. So Croatia, so Croatia, you have an animal on your flag? Oh, there is an animal on the flag. Hold up. There's a little goat. I think it's a goat. C 
Croatia. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, that's a banger, dude. They have multiple animals, dude. The entire flag is basically animals. They have a picture of Serral. On their flag. There's like this weird weasel looking. And then a bunch of whatever these are. It's a very flat cat. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're probably right, Lizard Boltman. You think these are lions? Well, they are wearing crown. Croatia is known for its lions. Uh, this website is called the Geo Grid Game. Less is more. Sweden is also when it comes to the crew. They be lying all the time. At least when it comes to the Eurovision. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, no, sorry. Lions used, to, <sighs> lions used to live in the Balkans before humans spread interest. Oh, wait, really? Lions used to live in the Balkans? Hmm. Salty because the Dutch competitor got kicked out of Euro Eurovision? I'm a little salty about it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still don't quite understand. Apparently, they have completed their investment. So supposedly the Netherlands got blocked the Yoast clan culture and was being intrigued by the whole thing. 